everyone, welcome back. So for today's video, I have a pretty awesome video today because I will be showing you guys a uh, full face of Milani Cosmetics. Now, I was waiting on my order for these to come in and then I picked up the concealer, come to realize it was way too light for me, but I'm still going to use it regardless. I have a couple of other things that I will be sharing here on my channel but without further ado let's get started for my brows i did use the soft and sultry palette and i only use these two shades here and then i just filled in my brows you guys already know the drill with my brows i will probably do a separate tutorial just to explain how it is that i do my brows for my eyeshadow i will be using the concealer to um, apply a base and then get started with my eyeshadow To set this concealer, I will be going in back in with my soft and sultry and using the lightest shade. For my eyes, I will be using the soft and sultry as mentioned and I'm going more for a 60s look, cat eye type of feel and I'll be using these three colors here below. This palette is just perfect for that look. I will be dipping into after hours and I will be applying this right on the crease and gently bringing it outwards somewhat like a cat eye flickering it out now you can use tape for this uh, to have a guide I personally don't use tape when it comes to this I clean it up with concealer but I'm just blending my life away and slowly flickering this out Now I took Untame and Naughty Night, which is a dark brown and a black, and I will blend this on top of After Hours just to give it more dimension and deepen this color up. I am taking the Conceal and Perfect and using this to cut my crease. I'm basically just following the outline of my eyeshadow and winging this concealer out as well. To set this concealer, I will be taking the shade in the buff, which is a lighter shade, and just making sure that I seal the deal with that. For eyeliner, I will be taking the Stay Put Liquid Liner, and I am doing something a bit different. With the wing, instead of flickering it up, I will just take it somewhat, not in a fully straight line, but it still has its angle uh, to get that 60s eye look. Okay, I've been loving this Most Wanted Lash Mascara, so I will be taking this and applying it on my lashes. You guys already know the drill here. Don't forget to apply your SPF. This is Prime Protect Primer with SPF 30 from Milani. I love this stuff and I always make sure to use a sunscreen under my makeup. Now this is Milani's Conceal and Perfect uh, Stick Foundation, which I truly like. If you have combo skin like I do, I recommend you give it a try. And with my Conceal and Perfect um, Concealer, I just applied little dots because it was a bit too light for my skin. So I'm just blending this uh, under my eyes. Going in with this translucent powder, light to medium, and just setting my face. Now this bronzer is amazing. I am in the shade 03 
and taking this Milani uh, I believe it's like a bronzing contour brush and just blending this all over my face I really like the color that it gives me and it's just the perfect shade for my skin tone For my lash line, I'm doing an upside down wing and I will take the shade Untame and blend this out. This blush palette in number two and I will be taking those first two shades and blending that on my cheeks. Taking this Gilded Desires palette, I will use the bottom shade for highlight, which is highlight of the day, and adding that glow to my face. I'm going to be setting this with the Milani Make It Last Matte Finish, and I will spray this all over my face. Instagram lipstick kitty if you don't follow her what are you doing you're literally living under a rock she combined these two and I absolutely love how they look so I'm naming this combo after her I will be using the black moon haunting liquid lipstick topping it off with a Milani nude shimmer All right, loves, and that is basically it. I just wanted to throw in this Black Moon lipstick because honestly, Black Moon makes some of the best nudes for every skin tone, and I truly appreciate that. I probably own every single nude that Black Moon makes, and I really like this combo. Let me just say that the foundations, holy smoke, I am really oily in my T-zone, and wow, that's all I gotta say. I just think that Milani is throwing out some bomb products. Um, can we just take a second to appreciate this new shimmer lipstick too? Now I love the pinup, the red lips, the classic eye, but I know I can get a bit repetitive on here. So I'm doing my best to bring out some content and adding my own little twist to it. So I really hope you guys enjoy this. I will see you all next time. Bye loves.